If everyone would remain standing as Kobe Evers, our senior class president, leads us in the invocation, and please remain standing while our Central High School Junior ROTC post our nation's colors, the CHS senior choir members will then sing the national anthem, and Chris Stedman, our student council president, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please bow your head with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we invoke your presence today in this time of transition, time of change, time of ending a chapter in our lives, and a time of new beginnings. We give thanks for those who mark their accomplishments today. Give them safe passage to new challenges. Give them eyes to see the need of the world around them. Give them the will to be your hands and feet and make a difference for your kingdom. We thank you for the person on our left and the person on our right. Thank you for allowing us to make this incredible journey together. We are thankful for those who have taught us the things we must know for our future. We have come here to learn, and we go forth to serve. We are thankful for our families and friends who have made this possible for us. As we walk out the door of the Central High School and through other doors in our lives, help us remember that Jesus said, I am the door. As we seek enlightenment through greater knowledge, help us remember that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. As we seek our path through life and are tempted by many distractions, Help us remember that Jesus said, I am the way. Father, watch over us, protect us, cover us in your blood, guide us in the direction of your will for our lives, and give us your grace to enable us to persevere to the end. And thank you for helping us survive the last 12 years. We finally made it. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, and you may be seated. Welcome to the 2013 graduation of Central High School's 2013 graduating class. It is my honor at this time to introduce your valedictorian, Kayla Pereira. Wow. Before I begin, I would like to take time to thank all the people who have helped me get this far. I would first and foremost like to thank God for blessing me with the potential and ability to accomplish all the things that I have done. To Ms. Conley, Ms. Hayes, and all the other teachers, counselors, and principals who pushed me to be where I am today, thank you. To my family, especially my parents, who never lost faith in me, thank you. And to the friends who never left my side, you know who you are, thank you. It wasn't always easy, but I made it, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of you. A few days ago, I had no idea what I was going to say as I stood here before you today. How was I going to make a speech that 6,000 people could relate to, or one that at least 550 would appreciate? As soon as the year had begun, I was already getting advice on how to do this speech. Some people said, make it funny. Some people said, make it meaningful. And then there were those who didn't care what I said as long as it was short. <laughs> and of course, I got asked countless number of times to give people shout outs. So if you ask for a shout out, here it is. <laughs> it's crazy how many new friends I made just by getting some time on the microphone. It was nice to meet all of you. But anyways, back to my speech. I'm pretty sure I've watched every single valedictory address that's been posted on YouTube. I spent hours hoping to get some sort of inspiration, but honestly, I found very little. Most of them were just filled with overused quotes by Martin Luther King, failed attempts at humor, and the same cliche message about how our graduating class is future leaders. Every single speech that I saw was very typical. And as all of you know, I'm anything but your typical valedictorian. But standing behind... But standing behind this podium, I'm expected to send you forward with some sort of inspiration. So, here goes nothing. This year was probably one of the best years of my life. Many memories were gained, new friendships were made, and many accomplishments were achieved. However, there was one tragic experience that I was forced to go through. It was an experience that I would have never expected and one that I didn't think I would make it through. It was an experience that was shocking, painful, and I didn't think I could get through it. It was the first six weeks in the second semester. As I walked into my third period class, my teacher handed me a piece of paper, and it was there in plain black text. Report card, Caleb Jordan Pereira, calculus, 86. My first B. When I looked down, I could hear my GPA falling. I knew that, I know some of you are saying, 86, that was my highest grade this year. <laughs> but in the position that I was in, there was no room for error. Of course, I blame Mr. Brewer. What else could I do? I know it couldn't have been my fault. I wasn't a B student, so I just decided that Mr. Brewer must have been a B teacher. <laughs> However, after talking to my teachers, AKA yelling to them about how much I hated Mr. Brewer, I learned something very important. I wasn't perfect. I had struggled with something just like everyone else because I was human. And that's something that we tend to forget a lot, especially in high school when so much emphasis is put on a number that will mean nothing once we walk the stage. In high school, we try so hard to be the perfect person, to make the best grades, to be the best at sports, or to have the most friends. We waste so much time to obtain a status in high school to only realize that once we have our diploma, we are all back at the starting line. We all have the same potential, and we all have the same opportunity. And no matter what we all choose to do with our lives, we are still gonna be imperfect humans. As soon as your name gets called, you're back to square one. 
it's not going to matter whether you had a 107 GPA or a 77 GPA. For the past 12 years, we've been told that to be successful in life, we needed to do well in school, go to college, and get a job that makes us a lot of money. But today I'm here to tell you that no matter how well you did in school, no matter if you're going to college, to the military, or straight to work, you are all successful because we will all walk this stage today. Sure, some of us have a few more strings around our neck, but we're all getting the same diploma. And with that diploma comes a new chapter in our lives. And just like the last chapter, there are going to be those who wish to write this for you. There are going to be people that say you need to do a certain thing or live a certain way in order to make something of your life. But I say to you, snatch your pen back and get back to writing the story of the life you love to live. Too often we're afraid of what others might think of us. We're afraid to take chances because we're afraid to mess up. We're afraid to say something because we fear being corrected. We're afraid to do what makes us happy because we know it's not what someone else wants of us. We're given one life to live and we have to make the most of it. So stop being afraid. Remember from here on out, it's your life. You've come this far and done this much. So who's to say that you can't do so much more? In this life, don't try to be perfect. Just be an excellent example of being human. Thank you. Caleb's a hard act to follow. Now it's my turn. Well, bring it. I like you guys. Tonight a chapter is ending, but your amazing story filled with magical moments is still being written. Tonight we share a moment that will begin with my words, which I hope will add a smile, could possibly produce a laugh, maybe even some tears. For sure will include a handshake and will hold the possibility of a bright future. Two things are always true about my speech. First, every year I wait for my inspiration. I wait for that one moment that just jumps out and grabs me and says, this is it, write about this. I always want my speech to cause each of you, at some point down the road, to think about my message. I see you years from now at some fork in the road, needing inspiration, and words pop into your thoughts and pound on your head until you're saying out loud, I heard you, Mr. Waters, I know. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Second, I realize that I won't decide what I'm going to actually write about until Thursday. Yep, the two days ago Thursday. I want to do it earlier, but my advanced degree in procrastination sets in, and I just don't. This year was no different. Now, for the past few years, I have had two prevailing thoughts about graduating high school. One, my own kids are growing up so fast that their graduation will be here before I know it, and I hate that. And two, why do some not value, work hard for, and desire this moment, receiving a high school diploma? You see, I know the research. I know that according to the National Dropout Prevention Center, graduating from high school determines how well you live for the next 50 years. That's right, 50 years. High school graduates will earn $143 more per week than a high school dropout, and a college graduate will earn $479 per week more than a high school dropout. So I wanted to ask each of our graduates what it meant to get their diploma. I have heard from many of them about what's next, but not the true meaning of achieving this milestone. I knew I couldn't ask them all, but I could ask a few, but who? Surprisingly, my first thought brought me back to my first year as principal of Central High School. I decided after that thought that I would share one graduate from the past and one graduate from tonight, and in their stories, hopefully show you how important tonight really is. I'll start with the present. Tonight, among the amazing stories there are, that led to graduation, there is a young lady who I met only once early in the year. I was told of her story, she was battling a severe stomach illness that was a result of childhood diabetes. Because her illness zaps her energy, she spent the larger majority of her senior year working at home to complete her credits. Because Ms. Daniel was close to her, I asked her to see if this young lady would let me interview her for my speech. An appointment for Aaron and I was set, and you guessed it, it was on Thursday. After walking into my office and realizing that she wasn't in trouble, my office always has that effect on people, I explained why I wanted to talk to her. I asked her the not so simple question, what does graduating and walking the stage mean to you? She immediately smiled bigger than she already was. 
shared with me how humbled she was that I would even think about talking to her, and started to share with me many wise lessons, obviously learned through her battles, her plight, and her strength to overcome. She said that initially she wasn't bothered by not walking. She understood. She had accepted it. But when she got the text from Miss Daniel telling her that she could walk if she was up to it, she was surprised by the feeling. It was overwhelming. She told me, it just hit me. She said immediately she saw flashbacks, thoughts of friends and flashes of memories of her childhood, memories of different school years. She said just thinking about this moment tonight made her think about her journey. Erin told me that her condition forced her to make sacrifices and look at things through a different lens. She was an athlete, but that had to end. She took advanced classes. Lack of energy took that away. It was easy to get down, but she said, I'm tougher than I look. She told me that this journey has made her strong-willed, that before her sickness, she took life's little pleasures for granted. Sure, she had a ton of worries, but she's learned to prioritize those. I shared with her a favorite quote of mine, that 90% of what we worry about never happens. Not worrying about what might happen gives us more time to enjoy and savor today. Before our talk ended, Erin shared with me that her latest treatment has given her great hope that one day she'll be able to eat again. She's been on a liquid diet for a very long time. She told me that her goal is to become a PPCD teacher and help kids with disabilities to overcome. Erin's journey to graduation isn't typical, but it demonstrates the importance of having a goal and achieving greatness despite what life throws your way. It was another Thursday, the last Thursday of my first year as principal of Central High School. I had graduated my first graduate in a small individual ceremony in front of the Bobcat that morning. He was a non-traditional student of 20 years old and took the path to graduate through our special programs. It was at that moment that I will never forget, <coughs> excuse me, it was that moment I'd never forget, but it was my second graduate who I immediately thought of the other day. He's, he's forever etched in my heart. It was less than five hours after that joyous first graduation with that first graduate where my second graduation takes place. I had never met him before. We had never talked. I never saw him walking the grounds of CHS. He had finished graduation requirements in December of the previous year. I spent a little over an hour with him, and in that hour, I spent with David, his family, and friends. I learned much about him. I knew how much he was loved, how he had many friends and family, and how he had dreams after graduation. Sitting there, I wished I would have had the chance to have known him a bit better. You see, David was supposed to walk the stage that Saturday night, but he didn't. You see, on this Thursday five years ago, I gave David his diploma at his funeral service. David had passed away on Tuesday, the week of graduation. David's family was so proud of him, and they believed that achieving graduation was so important, they asked me if I would present his diploma at his funeral. David became my second ever graduate and I was honored and completely humbled that I was asked to take part in the memory and accomplishments of this young man who would never get to use his diploma to its fullest, but truly knew its value and importance. In these two graduates comes the message, do not take the opportunities that come before you for granted. Make the most of your opportunities. Remember, each and every second counts. Maya Angelou once said, Sometimes we're afraid to push ourselves to reach as far as we can because we, can, we are afraid that when we succeed, the world will stand before us and ask more of us. I want the world to ask more of you. More importantly, I want you to ask more of it. I'm in awe of your many talents, your outstanding character, your endless abilities. I am proud of your success, your accomplishments, your scholarships, your plans, and your goals. I believe you can change the world. I am humbled because I'm so lucky and blessed that I've had the opportunity to share just a small part of your incredible lives. I stand here tonight asking, what will you do with your opportunity, your talent, your possibilities? And I say, class of 2013, go and make the most of it. Thank you. And now, will our graduates please rise? Dr. Bonds, Mr. Parker, the San Angelo Independent School District Board of Trustees, 
CHS faculty, family, and friends, I present to you meeting the required credits in the state of Texas to graduate and walk our stage, the Central High School graduating class of 2013. <laughs> Mr. Parker. The highlight of the year for school board members is being able to shake the hands of our graduating seniors. Graduation symbolizes academic achievement, academic performance, academic success. In the role of board members, that's our, our principal role, is to assure that our schools are providing academic achievement and success. It it's, is especially rewarding for a school board member to be able to shake a hand of a child that they might have in the graduating class. This year, I'm very blessed, very humbled to be able to say for the fourth time since I've been a school board member, I will have that opportunity again tonight because my daughter is in this graduating class. As such, I know many of you graduates, many of you seniors very well. I've seen you literally grow up from little boys and girls in elementary school. I've seen you in when you started athletics in YMCA and in middle school, when you hardly knew anything about the sports you were participating in, and now you're champions, district champions, by district champions, area champions, and some of you are even state champions. I was in your classrooms when you were smaller and you were shy and had no idea what type of leaders you would become, but now some of you have become members of the NHS, the top 10 percent, NHS presidents, class presidents, national merit scholars. I know you, I know your parents, as are we, are very proud of your hard work and the success that you've been able to achieve from your hard work. As you start a new chapter in your life, I would give you one word, one character trait that you really should concentrate on, and that's perseverance. You see, your generation is going to have a much tougher time than my generation, especially with getting and keeping a job, because you're going to have competition all over the world. I've heard it said that your generation may change, you may change jobs six to ten times. You may change careers two or three times. In seven years, the top ten jobs in the United States, five have not been invented yet. So you're going to have to know and you're going to have to be able to reinvent yourself on a moment's notice to be able to survive, to be able to support yourself and be able to support your family. And that's going to take perseverance. You can't give up. You can't quit. You've got to hang in there. And I know you can do it. With your leadership, your strong leadership, I'm very confident that the future of our country, our state, and our community is in very good hands. Good luck and God bless. With that said, on behalf of the Board of Trustees for the San Angelo Independent School District, I proudly accept the graduating class for San Angelo Central for the year 2013. Thomas James Zimmerman. Daniel Ray Zamaron. Ida Nazar Youssef. Zachary Allen Young.
Yelena Marie Young. Samantha Monique Yabata. Marshall Rhett Yale. Brianna Cherie Wood. Carson Matthew Womack. Megan Cherise Winters. Zachary Paul Wimpy. Nathan Alexander Wilson Ross. Savannah Nicole Wilson. Justin Alexander Willis. William Jacob Williamson. Ashton Rochelle Williamson. Caitlin Devon Williams. Katie Lynn Williams. Claire Elizabeth Williams. Brianne Suzanne Williams. Samuel David Wilkerson. Macy Lauren Wilcox. Zachary Justice Whitlock. John Bailey White. Brandon James White. Kimberly Page Weston. Tin Tin Wang. Bonnie Christine Weiler. Wegner. Wegner. Jordan Ash Wegner. Logan Corey Webb. Kelsey Leanne Weatherspoon. Danielle Renee Walston. Jason Randolph Walker. Nelson Benjamin Wax. Thomas Rex Wadley. Linda Ray Felix Viegas. Villarreal. Courtney Marie Villarreal. Villafranco. Joshua Lee Villafranco. Crystal Nicole Vasquez. Congratulations. Cynthia Ann Vargas. Congratulations. Yes. Larissa Mercedes Valles. Valla. Okay. Kendall Reagan Valla. Brandon Michael Valdez. Alicia Lynn Underwood. Woo! 
Jackson Henry Turner. Two. Christy Leanne Tu. Ariel Nicole Monique Trevino. Brendan James Torres. Alexis Marie Torres. Stephanie Lynn Torres. Krista Danielle Torres. Jessica Elaine Torres. Corina Nicole Torres. David Nicholas Tobar. Shelly Suzanne Tim. Toma. Cameron Cheyenne Toma. Terrio. Sarah Larray Terrio. Coy Robert Terrell. Elizabeth Anna Teeter. Congrats, man. Keeland Krushan Taylor. James Andrew Taylor. Adana Elena Tarango. David Paul Sweats. Lacey Suddeth. Madison Lacey Suddeth. Guillermo Suarez the Fourth. Guillermo Suarez the Fourth. Clayton Cole Stroh. Taylor Payne Stickney. Taylor Rain Stewart. Haley Brianne Stewart. Christopher William Stedman. Alexis Nicole Stamps. Catherine Marie Springer. Brandon John Spaulding. Jose Erasmo Soto Hernandez. Jacob Matthew Sosa. Alicia. Alicia Yvonne Solis. Nicholas Anthony Snyder II. Jacob Alexander Snow. Sterling Scott Smith. Erica K. Smith. Dalton Wayne Smith. Congrats. William Clay Skiff. Sarah Shirai. Jody Brandon Shields. 
Amanda Catherine Sewell. Carlos Alonzo Guzman Serrano. Jonathan Javier Serenil. Alyssa Brianne Cepeda. Seth Ryan Scott. Marissa Alexis Shore. Taylor Allen Schilling. Joshua Stephen Sawyer. Raymond Anthony Salceda. Alexander Peter Santana. Kara Danielle Sanders. Juan Angel Sanchez. Bianca Estela Sanchez. Austin Ray Sanchez. Anthony Duron Sanchez. Annalisa Renee Sanchez. Annalisa Julia Sanchez. Alexandria Jane Sanchez. Serafina Genevieve. Serafina Genevieve San Miguel. San Diego. San Diego. Megan Lee Samaniego. Kinsella Daris Salinas. Esteban Isaac Salcedo. James Ruben Salazar. Justin Deshaun Sadler. Justin C. Reimer. Joshua Brian Ricklick. Arissa Cheyenne Ruiz. Raul Jose Rubio III. Caleb Benjamin Rawson. Markel Dion Ross. Megan Nicole. Megan Nicole Rogers. Zachary Joe Rowe. Paola, Paola Rodriguez. It's ill. Itzel Yahaira Rodriguez. Brian Zachary Rodriguez. Angelica. Angelica Marie Rodriguez. Ermin Robles. Kelsey Lynn Robertson. Mackenzie Lynn Roberts. Dominique. 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 
Dominic Michael Robertson. Joaquin Alonso Rivero. Aaron Christopher Rivera. Samantha Criselda Rios. Ashley Nicole Rico. Angel Landon Rico. Awesome. Elijah Corcellus Richardson. Maricela Alicia Revelas. Caleb Storm Reisner. Brandon Ramos. Marissa Brooke Ramirez Lopez. Nathan J. Ramirez. Lorena. Lorena Ramirez. Carlos Eduardo Ramirez. Tabitha Leanne Quiros. Ezekiel Quezada. Austin Ross Quad. Ronald William Pullen. Ephraim Eric Puente. Pucciarello. Jeffrey Joseph Pucciarello, the second. Whitney Cheyenne Pruitt. James Allen Pruitt. Vanessa Ashley Prater. Kyle Wade Power. Lindsay Renee. Lindsay Renee Powell. Pomeroy. Nathan Lane Pomeroy. Paul Taylor Anna Paulhemus. Benjamin Placencia Jr. Yasmin, Abigail Yasmin Pizana. Abigail Yasmin Pizana. Congrats. Rachel Lee Pipkin. Tizan Artis Pickens. Tizan Artis Pickens. Prince Perez. Jesus Mendoza, Jesus Mendoza Perez. Brandon Perez. Brandon Perez. Roy C. Perez Jr. Roy C. Perez Jr. Hook him horns. Caleb Jordan Pereira. Alejandra Pereles. Alec James Pena. Austin Tyler Peoples. Gilbert Pedroza Jr.
Miguel Renato Peterson. Caleb Lynn Payne. Shavani Rajendra Patel. Here's my chance. India Nicole Parker. Avery. Grace Avery Parker. Cassandra. Cassandra Sue Palmer. Jordan Renee Page. Yep. Jasmine Desiree Ortiz. Gabriel. Gabriel Anthony Ortega. Ismael M. Olwan. Veronica Marie Olvera. Ashley Lynn Olmacher. Jairo Nuno. Edward Alamillo Nuno. Roxanne Nicole Nunez. Logan Brianne Norris. Jacob Nino. Bethany Nieto. Caitlin Nicole Nicholson. Erin Elizabeth Nichols. Shristi Nopany. Amber Marie Nesbitt. Alexandra Brianne Nelson. Adrian Martin Nira. <clears throat> Joshua Lucas Nechtman. Ismael Anthony Narvais. Amanda Nagel. Q Yong Na. Vanessa Murillo. Randy Carissa Mowry. Damara Brianne Mutri. Valerie Raquel de Jesus, de Jesus Mosqueda. Lucero Muñiz Mortera. Thomas Joaquin Moreno. Siria Violeta Moreno. Laura Moreno. Gabriel Andrew Moreno. Pablo Morales. Jonathan Ryan Moore. 
Jessica Karen Moore. Daniel Alberto Montañez. Dalton Tyler Molotsky. Cynthia Itzel Mireles. Kiana Nicole Milliken. Shanitra Rache Miller. Meredith Lorraine Miller. Lashana Marie Miller. Darren Riley Miller. Zachary Ian Milam. Vanessa Nicole Meyer. Hillary Ray Mendez. Nicholas Bryce Malott. Brittany Marie Mejia. Brianna Lenore Mejia. Jesus Alejandro Medrano. Megan Joan McLaughlin. Elijah Connor McLaughlin. Stephen Ryan McCowan. Hunter Clifton McKee. Kayla Bryn McKeever. Michael Tabor McEnroe. Zachary Allen McCormick. Ariana. Ariana Renee McCullough. Angelica Tacoma McCleary. Brenna Shea Matthews. Alexandria S. Matthew. Myra Alexandria Mata. Johnny S. Mata Jr. Madison Mary Massey. Christopher Gray Mason. Chesley Cade Mason. Taylor Renee Martinez. Samantha Beth Martinez. Mallory Melba Martinez. Justin Martinez. Julian. Julian Edward Martinez. Andres. Andres. Jesus Andres Martinez. Jeanette Marie Martinez. Gerald Martinez. Elora Miranda Martinez. Eddie Michael Martinez. 
Diego Armando Martinez. Ariel Gutierrez Martinez. Antonio Miguel Martinez. Anissa. Anissa Nicole Martinez. Madison Deanne Martin. Chance Lynn Martin. Nathaniel Sean Maldonado. Luis Daniel Maldonado. Andy Renee Luna. Ashley B. Losoya. Morgan Virginia Lohman. Anthony James Scott Lovell. Victoria Miranda Lopez. Selena Mercedes Lopez. Jeremy Lopez. Ashley Renee Lopez. Brianna Lynn, Brianna Lynn Longoria. Lope. Colby James Lope. Lope. Nicholas Andrew Lyles. Lope. Justice Renee Liggins. Danielle Marie Lewis. Rebecca Lee Leslie. Shane Matthew Lemoyne. Madeline Ledesma. Jeffrey David Leary. Clifford Joseph Lockard. Lawrence Matthews Lassiter III. Cameron Dallas Larson. Mark Aaron Lang. Marshall Allen Lamb. Sabrina Ray Lake. Knowles. Sam Ethan Knowles. Siobhan. Siobhan. Yeah. Olivia Siobhan Knickerbocker. <laughs> Brandon Michael Key. Serena Shanice Kennan. Brittany Alexis Caldor. Jost. Yes. Connor Ryan Jost. Kendall K. Jones. Hannah Lee Jones. Asa Legrand Jones. Amber Marie Jones. Taylor April Johnson. Talitha Rochelle Johnson. Cody Matthew Johnson. Ariel Nicole Johns. Andres. 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 
Andres Miguel Jimenez. Ryan Anthony Hasso. Liliana Elizabeth Jaramillo. Helen Francis Jakeley. Candace Nicole Jackson. Stephanie Ibarra. Mayra Karina Ibarra. Rebecca Jane Hudson. Chloe Nicolette Husted. Clarissa Kim Humphrey. James Lee Hewlett. James Michael Houston. Mariah Nicole Hauk. Alicia Marie Huff. Josh Riley Horton. Holly Ann Horice. Courtney Abigail Holtcourt. Layla Alicia Hollingsworth. Veronica Michelle Hernandez. Richard Joe Hernandez. Michael Peyton Hernandez. Laura Hernandez. Austin Xavier Hernandez. Layton. Dusty Layton Henderson. Hey, Joseph Andrew Helton. Sam. Sam Harrington. Case Reed Harden. Harrison David Hambright. Tobin James Hallfast. Serena Alexis Gutierrez. Marimar Gutierrez. Kristen Danielle Gutierrez. Emily Olvia, Olivia Guevara. Jaime Alberto Guerrero Jr. Justin Dale McHenry Guerra. Zachary Aaron Groder. Kaylee Nicole Greisheimer. <laughs> Timothy Baxter Grieve the second. Just what? You want it all. Patrick Jake Green. Samantha Nicole Gray Gomez. Tiffany Raquel Gray. Jared Wayne Gray. Jared Scott Gray. 
Catherine Grace Graham. Jonathan Michael Graham. Bishop Joshua Xavier Gonzalez. Angel Jordan Gonzalez. Mason Ray Getz. Connor Lee Gockenauer. Emily Beth G. Daniel Pilar Gatica. JC Janae Garza. Veronica Marie Garcia. Maite. Maite Nicole Garcia. Joshua Anthony Garcia. Jessica Lynn Garcia. Jessica Isabel Garcia. Clarissa Monique Garcia. Christian Garcia. Baby Ann Candice Garcia. Alina Garcia. Ryan Thomas Gandy. Isaiah Gandar. Ethan Ryan Gomez. Jessica Elise Gambrell. Christopher Daniel Galindo. Robert Ortillo, Ortillo Galindo. Esmeralda Cristal Galarza Hernandez. Patrick Anthony Gabriel. Clayton Edward Frost. Connor Drew Franklin. Dallas Josiah Frankie. Thomas Andrew Franco. Marisa Mercedes Franco. Alexandria M. Fox. Austin Michael Fowler. Caitlin Cheyenne Ford. Marquise Deontay Folks. Samantha Renee Flores. Michael Ray Flores. Clarissa Brianna Flores. Hunter Jordan Flores. 
Hunter Austin Fitzgibbon. Clarence Fielder III. Brianna Nicole Fickle. <laughs> Mariah Nicole Fernandez. Jasmine Marie Fernandez. <laughs> Brianna Alisa Fass. Tara Nicole Fatou. Kobe Derek Evers. Summer Shy Evans. Nicholas Jordan Evans. Audrey Cloy Evans. Caitlin Sloan Eubanks. Christopher Brian Estrada. Anessa Marie Esquivel. Desiree Raquel Escobar. Tatiana Enriquez Lopez. Abriana Ray Enlo. Lacey Renee Emmons. Allie Carol Efferson. Quirt Cade Edwards. Dario Marco Duran. Brett Allen Dupree. Megan Ainsley Dunlap. Amber Joy Dubois. Selena Christine Dominguez. Natalie Galvan Dominguez. Alexandra Lynn Doggett. Michael Wayne Delgado. Anne Marie Delgado. Michael Zarin De La Cerda. Edson Reynaldo De Hoyos. Jessica L. Deckers. Alfonso Ray Deanda. Catherine Elizabeth Dean. Salvador Santiago de los Santos. Jefferson Alexander Davis. Calton Gage Davis. Kayla Danell Davila. Oh, 
Genesis Olguin Davila. Alexis Olguin Davila. Haley Denise Dallas. Ryan Thomas Daigle. Brittany Rayann Crow. Hayden Tyler Crotwell. Bethany Danielle Cross. Victor Jose Crespo. Colton Neil Cox. Paul Anthony Costilla. Cameron Debs Cordell. Madison Ann Contreras. Alexander Rene Conover. Samantha Lynn Connell. Kevon Marquise Coney. Connor Culpepper Coleman. Alexis Nicole Boleyn Coker. Will David Cogdell. Kaylin Marie Coffey. Parker Grayson Clay. Go that way. Madison Louise Cisneros. Sam Chang. Larry Samuel Chavez Acevedo. Jordan Savias Charles. Barbie Shea Chapel. Jacqueline Celeste Chapa. Abby Leanne Chadwick. Sierra Desiree Chabaria. Robert Joseph Castillo. Peter Rivera Casares. Chesney Lynn Carter. Rundir Daniel Carillo. Jamie Lynn Carricker. <laughs> Varian A. Carrasco. Robert Carrasco, Jr. Laura Cristina Cardosa.
Jordan Ann Butler. Andrew Jacob Butler. Caitlin Buscelli. Christopher Ryan Burney. Chance Kelly Buckner. Megan Renee Brown. Bailey Elizabeth Brown. Margaret Lee Brothers. Seth My Sean Michael Keith Brogan. Marissa Lynn Brogan. Aaron Michelle Brewer. Tito Egan Breedlove. Okay. Brittany Marie Bourgeois. I know. Justin Kyle Boswell. John Daniel Boone. Elizabeth Noel Blows. Sabrina Beth Blanton. Kylie Daryl Black. Jasmine Deanne Black. Bailey Christine Bird. Rebecca Noel Bingham. Mackenzie Aaron Bell. Alexander Jonathan Bell. Cody Jameson Bean. Taylor Evan Baxter. Brandon Hunter Batten. Catherine Evelyn Bosques. Matthew Robert Barth. Lauren Nicole Baron. Christopher Lee Baker. Ryan Trey Ballman. April Yvette Bagby. Victoria Clarinda Baca. Jose Javier Ayala. Alexander M. Ayala. Adriana Michelle Avila. Lily Rose Auker. Ginger Olivia Acevedo. Augustine Arroz Jr. Johan Antonio Arnold Jr. Okay. 
Abby Marie Arismendi. Jose Nicholas Arevalo. Katrina Reagan Ardila. Adam Taylor Applegate. Benjamin Andrari Uriosti. Selena Ames. Caitlin Marie Alverson. Cody Dylan Alvarado Fernandez. Victoria Marie Alvarado. Courtney Leanne Alvarado. Kendall Amberlyn Allen. Zoe Jewel Aguirre. Omar Cadres Aguirre. Nicholas Francis Aguirre. Kristen Nicole Aguirre. Brianna Christine Salmon Aguirre. Devin Cade Adcock. Marino Mata Acevedo. And now, graduates, as a symbolic gesture of your commencement, we invite you to move your tassel from the right to the left as you are officially the Central High School graduating class of 2013. If the audience and the graduates would please remain standing while Elizabeth Blos, our salutatorian, leads us in the benediction. And please remain standing for the playing of our school song and as our top 10 graduates lead us in one final Sikkim Cats. Elizabeth Blos. A benediction traditionally begins with a request to bow your heads. Instead, I ask that you take a moment to look around at everyone here, sharing in the experience of closing one chapter of their lives and beginning another. My fellow classmates, as we prepare to step out into the world, here's what I wish for you. May you find success and happiness, not necessarily in that order. May you enjoy good health and good company. May you have the courage to change what you can, the serenity to accept what you cannot, and the wisdom to know the difference. But there is something more. Even as you gain the wisdom that comes with age, may you never lose your sense of curiosity and wonder at the world around you. May great and wonderful adventures find you, and if they do not, may you seek them out. May you find a way to treat every challenge that comes to you, not as a burden to bear, but as a new part of your adventure. I would like to leave you with a quote from one of my all-time favorite books, The Hobbit. Roads go ever, ever on, 
under rock and under tree, by caves where never sun has shone, by streams that never find the sea, over snow by winter sown, and through the merry flowers of June, over grass and over stone, and under mountains in the moon. Roads go ever, ever on, under cloud and under star, yet feet that wandering have gone turn at last to home afar. Eyes that fire and sword have seen, and horror in the halls of stone, look at last on meadows green, and trees and hills they long have known. May all your adventures lead you through fantastic unknown lands, and ultimately bring you back to the comfort of home. Let's bring the top 10 down. Top 10, come on down, everybody stand up. We're gonna play the school song and then lead us in one more, Sikkim Cats. We'll do our Sikkim Cats and then we'll have the school song. Okay, I just counted 10. Ready, y'all go ahead. Hit it. Now put those caps on and let's do this again. You ready? Let's do this one one more time. Everybody find one? All at once this time. All right, here we go on the count of three. One, two, three! Yeah! Congratulations, graduates. Thank you all.